Hi everybody on YouTube, this is Nick again. Uh, I've had a request to make another Spectrum Analyzer tour, uh, this time for uh, Sutro Tower stations after the antenna upgrade. So we'll go through the 11 stations real fast. Um, the Spectrum Analyzer has been configured specifically so that uh, anybody who can read the picture, hopefully you can uh, get a good picture of what's going on, will be able to do their own analysis of the, uh, the, the results. Um, the reference level, which is the level at the top of the spectrum analyzer, the first grid line, uh, the, the, the actually not the first grid line, the zeroth one, the one at the top of the screen, is minus 20 dBm, uh, and it's uh, 10 dB uh, per division from there down. Um, and I'm going to try every time we switch channels to put a um, marker, which is that little diamond thing, uh, at the pilot and get a bead on the pilot. Uh, the the width of the uh, screen is six megahertz, so it's one channel per screen. And right now, oh, thank you, Jade. That's the cat moving the camera. Uh, right now, the uh, center frequency is 177 megahertz, which means we're looking at channel seven. The pilot is at about minus 60, a little bit uh, about there, minus 60 dBm or so. Um, so that's what's going on there. So going up from there, our next port of call is KOFY TV. And their marker is at, um, their pilot is at about minus 45 dBm or so. Nice and flat on top. Okay. KPIX is next at 563. And their pilot is at minus 53 dBm or so. Uh, that's very stable and flat. No multipath there. All right, KQED. 569. Almost exactly the same. Whoops. There we go. Their pilot is at about minus 60. Yeah, a little bit better than that, maybe minus 57, 58. Okay. KMTP 581. Uh, that can't be right. KMTP channel 32. Uh. Oh, that, yeah, that's, it's, uh, <laughs> try again. Uh, it's 588. Yeah, 587. 587, is that right? Gotta get this right here, 585, yeah. yep, 587, okay, my bad. They're on channel 33, um, their PSIP is 32, of course, because that's what their old analog channel was. Uh, their pilot's at minus 60. Pretty stable there. Okay. Jade, stop moving the camera. Uh, KFSF, 593. All right, there's KFSF. Come on, find it. Uh, their pilot is at about minus 63, 64 or so. Still nice and flat on top. Not much evidence of multipath. K-R-O-N, 617. K-R-O-N used to really come in badly, but they're, uh, they're doing just fine now. Minus 63 or so. Okay. K-C-N-S, 623. Uh, a little bit worse there at minus 67, 68 or so. Thereabouts, whoops. Uh, 66 or 67, call it. KCNS. Okay, KCSM, 647. And peak search. They're doing a little better. They're at minus 58. Uh, there's a little bit of a warp to them, but it's very, it's very, very slight. Almost indistinguishable. Certainly, they're getting a good picture in for us. Um, yeah, okay, so KCSM, 
Uh, KTVU, 653. Nice and solid for KTVU. Much better than they were back in the days pre-transition. Back when they were up in the 50s. KTVU, and finally up on top, KBCW, 659. That is about minus 62 dBm. Oh, did I give you the numbers for uh, KTV? Let's go back to KTVU again, 653. Yeah, all right, so there's KTVU. They're at minus 57 or so dBm for the, this. These are all these numbers that I'm giving are, the, are for the pilot. So in theory, um, the pilot is 11.3 dB down from the channel average power. So you can take those pilot numbers, add 11.3 to them, and you'll get the average channel power at reception for, for my antenna here. Um, that's more of an interesting thing to do when you're actually measuring transmitter power uh, rather than reception power. Um, but, I mean, just for example, just to, to compare, let's go to channel 32 again, uh, which uh, was like uh, 581. So this is an empty channel. Actually, channel 32 is, I think, what KSMS or no, uh, it's it's um, it's actually coming from Fremont Peak. But I've got the antenna pointed the wrong way, and it's UHF, so we're not getting anything at all. Uh, just to give you an idea, the noise floor for me here is about 91, 92 dBm down. So um, that's where the noise floor is, and you can use that to compare uh, the other uh, screen captures uh, from earlier on in this video. Um, we also can go visit some of the other stations just for reference. Um, for example, we'll go take a look at uh, uh, channel 12, uh, which is NBC, which is, now why can't I remember their call sign? What's up with that? K, um, K, 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 what is it? Oh, this is bad. I'm having to look it up, and I still can't find it. KNTV, of course. What's wrong with me? Uh, right, so they are on uh, 207. So this is San Bruno, not Sutro. But again, this is VHF, so it's coming off the back of the antenna. Still looks pretty good. Um, another example, we can take a look at uh, channel 23, which is KRCB from way far away. Uh, channel 23 at 527 megahertz. Uh, so you can see that's much further down in the mud. That's at minus 70, 75, sometimes at minus 80. They still are coming in well enough to, to score, though. Um, and there's not, again, not very much evidence of multipath. It's nice and flat, but it's much lower than the other ones. Uh, we also could conceivably look at 47 at KTLN which is at uh, 671. Um, that's coming in better. Um, there's a low power one, KFTL. KFTL is kind of hard to get. All right, 557. And yeah, they're way down in the mud. In fact, I can't really get the marker over, whoops. marker. They have uh, multipath bad. You can see there's a ramp there. I, can, I have to actually manually move the marker over. Um, so they're at minus 78. Uh, but they, you can see there's a ramp there in their signal. That's KFTL. Uh, by contrast, some of the strongest ones, of course, for us come from Monument Peak and Mount Allison, where you can actually go in the backyard and look and see the antennas almost. Uh, so, for example, um, channel 50. Um, so that's KTEH. That's at minus uh, 51 dBm, well, 53 dBm. Uh, so that's quite powerful indeed. Um, 
anyway, uh, really there was uh, the point of this was to give you guys a good picture of what uh, has happened um, to the uh, Sutro Tower stations uh, after they have made their adjustments. Um, so um, there you go. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.